Howdy folks, welcome to episode 30. Today we're going to start on a new CV build, but first I wanted to take a look at a couple of the new changes that we've got in the latest patch, which is 1.6. One of the things they did was they made food stack. So as you can see here, now you can stack food in up to 15s, or 20s I mean. And the canned vegetables and stuff can stack, all the ham can stack. So basically all that stuff I told you about emergency rations being awesome because you can stack them, yeah, that's not really true anymore. So it's not unique to them anymore. Um, so that's obsolete information. The other thing is that I've been talking about having, it would be nice to have an advanced food processor. And they went and changed that too, which I am not definitely not complaining about. But now you can stack... Um, I'm sorry, now you can create stuff that you have all the parts for just by clicking on it. Um, so if you have, say, wheat in here and you you put it in there and you want to make bread, you can just do that. It'll do all the intermediate steps just like the advanced constructor did. So there's that, which I also told you, you know, went through the whole spiel on how to make emergency rations and now that's <laughs> no longer needed. Which, again, I'm definitely not complaining. It's not that great. You know, it was it was basically unneeded tedium, and it wasn't really fun. It didn't add fun to the game. So definitely not complaining. But, yeah, you definitely you don't need a million fridges anymore. And I should probably grab some food. And, yeah, so all these fridges I won't really need because I can stack all this stuff now. So, anyway, let me make sure I didn't leave a bunch of stuff in my... Thing. And the other thing you can do now is you can eat right out of your inventory. So you hold shift and you click. Nope. Is it shift and right click? There you go. Shift right click eats right out of your inventory. So that's pretty cool. And as you noticed, I turned a bunch of our steel into steel blocks. So I've got five and a half thousand of them. I've got the capital starter and a generator and a fuel tank so that we can put some lights on it. So I'm going to head up into space and I will meet you guys in orbit in just a minute. Oh, and I almost forgot. The other thing I did was I added in the tunnel. I got the rest of the tunnel dug out and I put in a room over here for the core and generator and stuff for the other base. And so this is the tunnel that goes out to the parking lot. There's not a parking lot out here yet, but there is the tunnel. So as you can see, I did quite a bit of work to get that done and so there's that little time lapse and there you go so there's the tunnel so anyway I will meet you guys up in orbit in a minute okay guys here we are in Omicron orbit if I could find the planet here <laughs> it is. there's my ship there's the planet and there's the moon so yep we're up in orbit and I need to find a good place to lay this down. Looks like the sun is down here. So we'll put our starter. I want to put it so that when I'm building, the top is lit up. At least until we get it to where we can turn it. So there we go. There's our new starter. And for those who are new, as you can see here, it puts a cockpit on here. And the cockpit is facing the front of the ship. You want to make sure you build your ship with this orientation because... Uh, you're going to be screwed up with your gravity generator and the direction your plants want to grow and all that stuff if you do not put your if you don't build your ship with the right orientation. So leave the cockpit there when you start out because that's <laughs> it's a useful place to have it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to hold down N and I'm going to put on a a symmetry plane there and probably want to go back a few. Now I've got a general idea of what I want to do and I've got a little sketch so I'll have to uh, refer to my sketch here and there but generally I uh, pretty much be winging this so let's see I want to put these two here and I need to put some stairs in so we'll do that and this part here is going to be the cockpit as you can see here it's pretty obvious should be pretty obvious and what I want to do here too is let's see I want to do this 
and I will fine tune all the pieces later because right now I just want to get the general layout so don't be afraid to just build something a rough sketch of it first and you can take the remove tool and get your parts back and and do a more detailed let's see do a more detailed piece when you're done or you know rework of it so I want to come back about five blocks and go like this and then I'm going to turn this around and I want a stairway going down back down so let's see we can put our stairs here and our stairs here like I said I'm just getting a general idea of where everything is going to be laid out and this is actually going to be a large floor so I want this to come out like this this is going to come out on a diagonal and then this is going to go flat from there if it'll lay down okay now if you hold down the control key while you're clicking and dragging it will let you lay out a whole plane if you are off of all three axes of this notice that I'm on, on a diagonal to here I'm on a diagonal to this axis and I'm also on a diagonal to this axis so you don't want to be on a straight line with it otherwise it will try to lay the plane with you in it so you want to be off on an angle so that's going to be this and I want to put some more stairs going let's see I want to go like this so this one's going to go up yeah okay this one's gonna go up so I wanna have like some nacelles on this and for the engines and stuff engine rooms and that kinda of thing and I think the general theme with the ship is going to be like that it was gonna be a lot of up and down stairs and that kinda of thing and little little rooms for the most part so this I need to take out now the other thing when you're doing symmetry is you want to make sure that if you make a mistake you want to erase the mistake on both sides <laughs> before you continue otherwise that block will be there and then when you go to put your steps here the stairs won't want to sit because your block is in the wrong place because you've got another block in the way so I'm going to get these stairs going down this way and hopefully this will be separated enough so this is going to come out and I want this to come forward to about there let's see I want it to come even with that there we go okay and uh, let's see I want this to come about there okay and this is going to be the wall and then there's going to be a wall here but I'm not sure if I'm going to do a diagonal so I might as well just lay out the blocks here and if I want to take them out I can take them out later and I want this to come back what is that two blocks I want it to come back let's see three four five six, nine or ten so there and I'll come up here and lay this out to there there we go okay and we'll get these the cells laid out because I want these to come back to about the same level as that and so these are going to have our engines and our fuel tanks and our generators and all that stuff it'll kind of be separated out from the main body and I'm doing that to take advantage of the setup where you can just use the P screen to add your fuel and all that stuff so I won't have to be running back and forth to the engines and everything in order to do that so this is going to be the floor of the bottom one three four five and hopefully because that'll be there and the roof will be here 
five. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. And let me take out this block because it's not going to be there. And I'm gonna have to remember to take that out on the other side, but that's not important right now. Okay, and we'll get this filled in. And we'll get it filled in back here. Now, do I want that to come like this? Yeah. I think so. One more. Come on, one more. Oh, is it too long? Okay. Whoops. All right. And so this is going to come across. And there's also a limit on... In survival mode, there is a limit. You can only lay... I think it's... a about 100 blocks or 80 blocks maybe. I think it's maybe 80 blocks when you're right laying a rectangle. It won't let you lay a 10 by 10 or 11 by 11, which you can do 11 long in the in just a line. So you want to watch for that when you're when you're laying stuff down if if it doesn't seem to be making sense, that's why. Okay, and we'll get this up here. And did I just lay that in the middle? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so let me take these out, and I'll take them out on the other side later, because I don't want to screw around with that now. And so this is going to be the same kind of deal. We're going to go up two, and then the roof. So the roof is going to be here. And we can lay this out from here. There we go. Is that all the way across? Yes. Yes, it is. And go and get this across the end. There we go. Okay, so those are going to be our nacelles. Let me get this, all the rest of this roof on too. And so I'll need to figure out how to do those stairways, how to enclose them and make them look decent. That's going to be the real the real trick of this build is not the general layout, but getting fine-tuning everything to make it look decent. So let me get this filled in. Did I run out of the up? Yep, I ran out of that stack. Okay. So I've already used a thousand blocks. <laughs> nice. And I just started a few minutes ago. Okay. So the other thing I need to do is put a roof in here because this is going to come up and so I want this to be let's see I'll make this three high and make this come out come on there we go and we'll get this coming out this way to here if it'll let me I think that's I think that's over that. Let's see. I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's going to come out to here and this is going to come all the way back and I can fill this in. Okay. So I'm going to get this filled in and I will be back in just a minute. Okay guys, we're back and I put in a fuel tank and a generator so we can get some lights in here so we can see what we're looking at and turn this on. So yeah, now we can at least see some stuff in here when we're building because the sunlight is blocked off. And the other thing you can do is you can bring an SV over and I've actually done this a lot uh, with my previous builds is I just bring an SV over and point it at the area I'm building in general. Right now we're kind of building in a very large area and I'd have to move this the SV around quite a bit so I think I'll skip that part and that is what happens when you run out of blocks when you're filling in a thing on a symmetry plane <laughs> so that's why those blocks were missing over there so the other thing I need to do is come down here and I need to build this room and so let's decide where we want our floor is going to be here obviously and we'll want to come out probably just to the end or maybe a little bit farther and so I wanted to make this yeah I'll probably come out a few extra blocks 
I wanted to make this another nacelle type thing if I can. I don't know what just happened there. There we go. Okay, so we'll add in another row here and one more row. And I'll probably end up rounding off a bunch of these corners in order to do this. But this should look pretty cool, I think, when we're done. So I'll fill this in. And there we go. There's our basic basic shape of our ship. This is, like I said, it's just a very rough first draft. And it looks like I'm missing some more pieces over on the left side, the port side. So, yeah, this is going to be the cockpit up front here. There's going to be the cockpit. And I'm probably going to put like a glass ball type thing on the front. So it's a big open space. The cockpit will sit right next to that. And then over here we'll have some growing plots and a food and crafting. We'll do food on one side and crafting on the other maybe. And is that like that? Is that supposed to be like that? Or did I go an extra block? Yeah, I'll take that off later. <laughs> and then up here will be the engine room. I'm sorry, this will be between them. So then up here will be the engine room and stuff like that. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do these. And let me see what we have here. And I think I want to do this because that's going to be between. So if I go like this here and then this on the next one it's really dark hard to see and then I can do the same thing fortunately there's no structural integrity to worry about here <laughs> that would probably be a problem and so I want to do that on these as well was that this one yeah so this and this and this and then I want to take the bigger piece and there and there and then this is going to go the opposite way so that's going to be is that going to be there or there no it's going to be there I think so we'll go there and there and under there and I really should put some lights in here because you can't see. So let's see, we'll put one here. There we go. And we'll turn it up a little so we can actually see. There we go. Okay, so what do we need here? We need, I think we have several pieces that are in the wrong place. Let's see. No, that's right. This one is right. That one's wrong. And that's going to have to be there okay so yeah that's right this is the extra row that I put in that isn't going to be there so we'll put these here and then put these on the ends of them and probably the same thing up here so we'll get rid of this block and this block and this block so we can put these here like that and we can put these up here like this there we go okay so there's the general idea I will close this in and I have to figure out how to do the second. The middle one will be solid all the way up. And let's see, this is going to be, this is going to come down, ramp down. So I'll go this piece and do this. And we'll ramp this one down and see how it looks. So we'll go like this and put in a piece here. This is another trick for those of you who are new here. 
you can have different stacks that are selected to different pieces and different rotations. So you don't have to keep selecting and, and rotating the same block over and over, which I just did as I'm talking. <laughs> but yeah, you can you can keep doing that and probably don't need to come that far down because this is going to come even with that. So yeah, this will come even with that. And the other thing you're doing, you want to do is if you have blocks like this and you're going to be putting textures on them, you don't want to be rotating them all over the place to different rotations. If you're doing the rectangular ones like this or the cube blocks like this, you want them all to be the same rotation so your textures line up. And so if you want to reset the rotation on the blocks, what you can do is you open your inventory, you just pick up this stack and put it back down and it resets it. So as you can see, like this block is this piece. If you pick it up and put it down, it's now an unrotated cube. So there's another little trick for you that you can do. And so I'm going to have to fix up that other side. And actually, I think that's all the time we're going to have for today. So we will have to continue this in episode 31. So why don't you guys join me in episode 31, and we will do some more work on the CV and see what else we can get done. So we will see you then. Later.